um, a mind control experiment, if you will, on the actual person who is who is the the lead singer or, or something like that or the artist. Um, and that yeah, I can see that. I mean, with Rihanna in the torture chamber and everything, um, I do think that some of these performers, when they're acting in these in these music videos or even in TV and movies, I think that they actually are performing as a kind of as a programmed alter personality to, based around the programming script of whatever the movie they're acting in is. Yeah. So they're kind of living in the moment, like li- literally living in it, like it's a real, real, real kind of scene, whereas it's just fantasy, it's not reality. But that's kind of what mind control is all about. It's about confusing fantasy with reality, and so they can't make out which is which. Absolutely, and, and in many cases as well, the the message of 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 the the appeal that they're using in many cases it's very very uh you know sexual in that sense and that we can get yeah. into that more you know in more detail later on Absolutely, uh, yeah. but it also very much as you say it's about kind of confusing the the rational then in a sense and it's also about not only mind controlling potentially the the artist or something like that but more so the actual viewer of of, of the music video do you know yeah, what i mean definitely. like small yeah, girls mean, kids sitting exactly. looking at this stuff you know they all love Rihanna. Rihanna's, Rihanna's so popular now. All the little kids love her. And with, with all the other ones as well, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus is now getting, her shorts just keep getting shorter and shorter, it seems. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it just gets, bit in, it's so insane, but, but no one can really see it, which I find is even more insane. Is, isn't it a bit, a bit of, um, it's a slow acclimatization as well to it. It, it just happens so yeah. with this, you know, tippy toe tactics, as, as, yeah. as we can call it. That just gets progressively, progressively more and more perverse, if you know what I mean. Right. Sexualizing, sexualizing all the young. It's just and not also, very nice. But and yeah, also, it's, uh, sorry to, to cut you off, but also I want to get that in there that you mentioned before. Like it's, it's also this, it's a, it's a perverted sexuality. I mean, it's, it's about. Yeah. It goes into the area where sex and actually violence. That's what I see. Where yeah. those, those two connect. You mentioned the kind of the bondage yeah. aspect to this whole. Yeah, Rihanna's total, all of her concerts revolve around her in some kind of bondage get-up. It's, it's crazy. She, every single time she's in, you know, black leather and all that kind of thing. It's just a bit. And remember, little girls are the ones who are really going to see her concerts, not, not pervy, well, pervy old men. They obviously do go see her concerts, but it's mainly little girls, so. Right, right. It can't be having a good effect on them as they grow up and they, they think that, you know, dressing like that is cool or whatever. But again, I don't want to be the kind of person who says, let's ban all sex from TV and everything, because sure. I, I enjoy it as much as the next guy. So it's a, it's a fine line, really. It's hard to know yeah. what is wrong. But, but, if you, but if you're aware of what this whole thing is about, what the whole entertainment, ent- entertainment industry is based around, then you kind of know that it's not a good thing and that, it's, that it kind of needs to be stopped, I think. Um, I think again, if we, you know, we, we can talk about different people. You mentioned Kylie Minogue, you know, before yeah. one of these, another examples of this. Um, she actually yeah. recently was uh, admitted, yeah. I guess they call it, to the Order of the British Empire. As yeah, well. I've got a, I've got a picture of her just here. She's she's covered in pentagrams, different coloured pentagrams, shiny pentagrams, mm. whilst 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 Charles is standing over her, presenting her with the whatever it is, award or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, in, and in her concerts, just to like show the occult side of things, she has her uh, concert is loaded with occult symbolisms and themes. With the uh, the eye of Horus, it at the very beginning of the concert, the eye of Horus opens up on the big screen behind her, mm-hmm. and all these occult symbols they start flying out of it. Whether it's this, it's the satan, I'm, I I don't obviously all say all pentagrams aren't satanic, but this no, is the no. specific satanic pentagram with all the symbols around it and the goat head inside the inverted pentagram so it's all, it's also blatant and also the ankh and all, just all the different occult symbols flying out at all the completely ignorant fans who are just there screaming yeah 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 when what's this satanic pentagram doing flying at them it just doesn't make any sense yeah but they yeah. but people don't kind of think like that i think it's i i remember just taking a few uh, screenshots or, or a few pictures from something called the X tour that Callum Noah was involved in. Yeah, that that is the one I think. And it's it's very interesting just looking at the at the at the dress or at the you know the uh, what do you call it, the costume that that yeah. the, the artists use on on stage as well. And I think in this case, uh, it's one thing that seems to have been popping up. And this is almost like 
with the the robot hand. Have you have you seen that? They yeah, have the robot the cyborg. robot hands are everywhere right now. Yes. Um, especially, especially with Beyonce as well. She's got her video for put a ring on it where she's wearing the robot hand, and they all find it. It's all it's, it's just like a big joke to them. Like at the end when it sort of zooms in on her and she she moves her hand and then the robot noise comes up. Mm. It, it's all kind of it's just like a ritual joke if that makes any sense. The what fact that they're all these kind of they're not they're not human. They're programmed robots. They're being dehumanized. Well, there, and there you go. They're pretty fine with it. It seems. <laughs> Well, obviously, they don't have a say because they're under mind control. But well, exactly. The the, have you looked into the the like the aspect of of who's like behind the uh, let's take take something mm. like the X tour with Kelly Who who's the you know do you know who's the the planning force behind that? Do you know what co- company or or personages are are using that? Have you looked in at all to that area yet, or are you just looking at the the basic the obvious well, in, in your face the, stuff right now? For the Kylie Minogue post, I did which was kind of the big, the first big kind of post on all of the different, um, you know, female pop stars who seem to look mind-controlled. And if obviously we, I'd go into Mariah Carey would be another one I'd do a similar yeah, post. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I, I wasn't really looking at like which specific company or which specific person designed this because for me they all just sort of, they're all working for the same entity anyway. It doesn't really... They're all working for the powers that be with their, you know, their subversive symbolism. That I don't think it. You need to point the finger at this kind of this specific person as designing something. Do you think it could be a feedback loop as well, meaning that um, the people who who back in the 80s, let's say, were were themselves admiring the pop stars, have now grown up and now are designing the sets and they are designing the dresses and just they. It's a perpetual thing. They they're just following on the same basic trend and, and bringing in these symbols without really kind of fully having 100% conscious awareness of what they're actually doing at that point. Do you think that's a possibility here? I think that's a possibility, but I think personally it's more likely that there is some a producer or someone from that kind of area who is who is like specifically asking for certain symbols and certain because let's not forget all of every all of these symbols can be used as can be programmed as triggers to trigger whatever kind of chaos they want to get started. Yeah. And so I do think that it's not just sort of people use these symbols because they've always been used. I think that they are kind of consciously used with malicious intent if you if uh but without kind of obviously affecting everyone if you know what I mean. Well exactly and I think that's well, it. Well actually so uh, thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. You if you get them it's also a kind of way of making them worship them if you because they I think they like to be worshipped <laughs> so yes. that's why they put the symbols over so with them shooting at the crowd it's kind of they can't not worship all of their symbols I see what you mean and I, and I I believe that that is also an um kind of an an archetypal type of 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 uh, you know way of approaching yeah. this that they're well, using kind of thing exactly they're using powerful symbols and and I think that they are savvy too they yeah. know what symbols they need to use or what elements they need to bring in in order to, um, you know, bring out in people the way, you know, so, so that the, the, the crowd or the, the viewer kind of identifies the singer with the goddess uh, symbolism or they, 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 they portray or project the yeah. goddess ideal upon uh, the, the singer, basically. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And um, I mean, Kylie Minogue, just thinking about it, MK Ultra with Kylie Minogue is KM, so you've got a my, an MK right in there already. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, also in, she's got a statue in Melbourne, in Australia, with her because a statue is kind of similar to a mannequin. It's like an empty shell, hmm. of yeah. without any kind of personality or anything. And uh, she's got a statue where she's wearing red shoes, and she's from Oz, Australia. There you go. And so it's all a, it's all about that kind of programming. And she's obviously like like everyone else. She's got her waxworks. With her, with, with her portrayed as a fairy, and it's all these kind of the way they're portrayed and ritual kind of clothing, and and she she dresses up as a Playboy bunny at one point. It's all it's all relative, I think. Yeah. Hmm. And one thing um, that seems to be very common as well is this idea that every every one of these kind of big uh, singers they start out as especially the the female singers again, if we talk about them, that they start out as this 
image of what do you call it like the girl next door type image they're very kind of yeah. innocent and what have you but then it slowly time evolves yeah. and they always seems to go down the route of being more you know openly you know sexual and in, in that sense and, and it goes in towards this uh um you know slant where everything becomes more violent it becomes more you know yeah basically a, a sexual expression that wasn't there before um do you think that that's that also is a is a is a pattern or or a theme that is is common commonly used i'm thinking of even as you mentioned before um what's her name mariah carey went through the same uh, basic uh, uh what do you call it transformation Car- yeah there you go thanks exactly it's like a butterfly yeah. yeah there you go and she even had a an album called uh, butterfly i think yeah she's lo- she's low I'd, I'd really like to do a post on her at some point there are loads of good sources on mariah carey's mind control out there if you look at um carissa's done some great work called into worlds which everyone should look at that website what well, give, give us the website again it's into worlds.net into okay. the number two worlds.net yeah. and that's got a really good overview of the mind control symbolism in movies <clears throat> in probably a more concise way than than mine than mine is and it's just really and she talks about uh, mariah carey as well and there's also loads of forums out there there's a few good uh there's a few good threads on on these mind control celebrities in the David Icke forum. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, sorry, just to go back to your point about the kind of good girl gone bad thing. If I could go back to Rihanna. Yes. She's the ultimate good girl gone bad. She's got an album literally called Good Girl Gone Bad. <laughs> there you go. Which okay. has the songs Disturbia and all the kind of bondage theme going on there, mm. which is a which is a really good example, I think, of what you were just talking about. And her her first album is obviously uh, something to do with the sun. What is it? Yeah, music of the sun, mm-hmm. which is the kind of sun symbolism that you'll see related to most of these these victims because they worship the sun amongst other things. Absolutely, it's a, it's a common one of these motifs again that that is commonly pop, yeah. popping up. And um, just briefly going back to Mariah Carey, that what is inter- interesting there is also is that I think that she was married to the uh, Virgin Media's uh, head, head guy, Sir Richard Branson, a while back. And, and I think that he was the one who's kind yeah. of dragged yeah. her into this whole scene. And and, and again, uh, yeah. it feels just feels to me that there's some kind of weird stuff going on there but with he being Yeah, I mean, she's handler, basically, I'll just come out and say it, she's a sex slave, I think, there you for, go. The, for people like Richard Branson. I mean, if you ever see him, he's always on his island and stuff. And Mariah Carey is just sitting there randomly, kind of looking empty-headed, as she usually does. And it just seems a bit strange. Why would she be hanging out? And she, she's a millionaire herself, isn't she? So she doesn't need to kind of, you know, be Richard Branson's. But th- this is recently as well, after they, they're not out with each other anymore. So sure, sure. Seems a little strange that. You're yeah. absolutely right there. Yeah. Um, and again, just looking at the at some of the lyrics, uh, some of the album names, the way that they're being portrayed. and uh, And then you have these weird kind of things where, the celebrities kind of uh, breakdown seems to take take place, place yeah. as well. I mean, I'm, I think Mariah Carey had it, and obviously, yeah, as many people around the age of 30 as well. Which, if you read Spring Meyer's work, apparently that is the age they kind of get thrown from the freedom train, as it's called. Uh huh. Okay. Where they're 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 told they're going to be set free, but actually they're usually killed in some kind of ritual, or they're just kind of, you know, kind of just kept under, kept away from people, or yeah, I'm not. Britney's 30th is coming up reasonably soon, and you can see that you can see they've really been building her up lately. Mm-hmm. Her circus tour coming up with the Pussycat Dolls, and we could get into Pussycat Dolls and cat programming and everything later. <laughs> oh my God, just keeps on, you know, it just keeps on coming, as it were. In that sense, I think it's yeah. the, the idea yeah. of the of the doll is something that you've been looking at uh, as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's kind of just like like the mannequins. These are these are sort of Things that don't have any, they're completely void of personality. They can't change their expressions, obviously, because then they're, ina- they're inanimate objects. And you have to understand how this plays into programming as well, where they, the child will be given a doll and then various drugs, trauma and things that promote, dis- create dissociation would be used to kind of make their, them have a, a split and basically create a doll-like altar because they've been using 